Hey guys, what's going on? It's the Gastigan guy here, bringing you another episode of Pokemon Soul Silver Randomizer. Last time we left off, um, we spent almost an hour getting to the top of the tower. We fought off against the purple-haired uh, Team Rocket admin. Uh, I don't remember his name. Um, I want to apologize for not giving you a proper start to that fast forwarding. Yes, uh, Wednesday. It's mm, the time between there. And when I stopped it, not I didn't really say a lot, and it just kind of got really boring to watch back. So even at 400 speed, which I wish I could make it go a little bit faster so the episode wasn't quite as long. But today we are going into the underground passage and using the key that we got from the admin to try and free the actual leader of, not leader, actual boss or CEO of the radio tower. And as you see today, I'm actually like recording at like normal time though hold up team rock mm, no I, I gotta team rocket members in black suits have been running around I wonder what's going on so you took on team rocket you are impressive you may be able to f f uh, to face the legendary poke <gasps> never mind I must go now I actually woke up at a normal time. Like, well, not normal. All right, I, I woke up at noon and slept till three, but you know, I I was able to record before like six p.m. <laughs> so, ah oh man, I'm outing myself. But maybe that's just basically so people start yelling at me to get on a normal sleep schedule because there's no way I'm doing it for me. Um, what was I saying? Uh, I was saying something. Oh, I'm sorry for standing around. I should go ahead, even, even though I'm really confused. Um, I honestly forgot what I was saying. Wow. I don't know why I'm saying wow, like I'm surprised. Um, let's see. Um, wow, I really do that. I'm trying to think. Today I plan on streaming a bit, or at least testing some streams. Um, I'm probably not going to... Well, from the, you're not going to be seeing this, but basically, you're not going to be seeing this anytime close to when I'm streaming. But hopefully, this can cause better streaming habits, where I take like a day or two to record six episodes and then upload them. I know you've been t hearing about it a lot in these videos, but I haven't really been talking about them that much at like consecutive times. But I'll try to turn it back a bit. You know. I'll save the stream talk for when I actually stream and something it does go interesting. And if you haven't checked out the streams yet, I recommend episode, I think, 5 or 6. Um, because, uh, you know, I... Wanna, uh, I don't, I'm saying 5 or 6, like it's going to be the only stream. But 5 or 6 is the Pokemon Coliseum, the one that has the picture of the giant muscly dude with red hair as the thumbnail. Uh, oh, shit. I didn't even know that was Dan. I'm sorry, I didn't voice him. Uh, basically, yeah, that episode was a hoot and a holler to, uh, the stream. Uh, I don't think you're a dragon type quite yet, but I'll still use it. Yeah. So, Dan now has a Swablu, so that means, or Altaria, I guess, later on. Which, I mean, I can't, actually, no, I can't really see him using it, like, in, like, the legit game. Because they see Dan as like someone who won't use a Pokemon unless it looks strong and is strong. And Swablu ain't one. You know, it just don't give you those strong vibes, you know? Switch Pokemon, it is a grass type. Oh wait, Torterra, fuck. No, we haven't seen his Infernape yet, but he has a Tort- He has two of the fucking three starters for Sinnoh. Huh. So hopefully we can, you know, take this dude out quickly. I don't know why I switched to Edgebird. Like, he's good. I was like, oh man, I better switch to, was it Staravia? I don't remember. I honestly can't remember the second form's, like, name at all. <laughs> I know it's Starly, I think Staravia, and then Staraptor? 
And now I'm sitting here thinking maybe, like, I'm sitting here thinking now that Star Ravi is a completely different Pokemon, because it probably is. I'm just drawing a lot of blanks today, but also really excited, you know? Uh, this is the last thing I need to do before the streaming focus that goes on. And, you know, I've been really looking forward to that. I'm sorry, I said I was going to stop talking about streaming so much, but I fucking kept doing it. I don't think, I honestly don't think people care. Because so far from what I get comments on, people don't mind. Um, I'm probably also a little bit uh, hyper as fuck. Because we bought these donuts that are like mint chocolate chip. And I was like, hmm, you know, I'll try one. I like mint and chocolate. It's like one of my favorite combos. And holy shit. Um, there was a lot of sugar. Didn't taste very good. And now I'm just like going at 100 miles an hour and I'm waiting for the crash. Come on, Metalhead. I believe in you. Hey, that didn't do shit. So let's go with Heck Metal Cut. Metal Claw. Oh my god. Why? Oh. Wait, you still only have him on for it? Oh, it's only level 30. Why is Torterra level fucking 34 then? Why are you focusing on Torterra? Monferno's where is that? What are you, fucking Paul? And for those who don't get that reference, that's in... That's a reference to the Pokemon Sinnoh anime, where, uh... Ash's rival for that series, Paul, had, a uh, uh... No, a Chimchar that he'd neglected, like, horribly. And Ash ended up taking it up. Thirty-seven. When will Metalhead evolve? That is the biggest of questions. And honestly, I should probably uh, heal up and get rid of that status ailment. Boom. Paralysis gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You mm, action. Mm, yeah, don't don't do that. Uh, what do we got? Pursuit? Yeah, do that. Actually, now that I think about it, I don't think I've ever seen, Sil like, is his name Silver? I think so. I think his name can canonically is Silver. I don't think I've ever actually seen him, like, I keep forgetting. I've seen him withdraw a Pokemon. So that's weird to me, at least. I'm still trying to think of a second game to stream, even though right now it might strongly be Resi 4. Um, because apparently if, you know, I have my friend in the call, which I did plan on having my friend in the call, uh, that'll probably be a weekend thing though. Um, probably only gonna take six hours, according to him. So that's like, maybe one very long stream, or like two, like three hour streams? I don't believe him that it's that quick, especially with me at the fucking wheel, because I am horrible at shooters. I was gonna shoot Mud Bomb, but I just remembered it's a flying type, and that won't do shit. Now uh, let's go back to Jet. Jet still needs that training. Um, Dragon's Breath? I don't see any reason why you would not be very effective. Can you not? Are you really gonna do this? Are you really gonna do this paralyzed? Again, no way. Um, flash cannon? I hate detect. Come on, Jet, I believe in you. And. Come on, critical hit. Fuck. Alright, so that's not a good idea. So let's send out uh, Mind Freak. You know, he hasn't had a lot of time in the spotlight recently. God, we're this far into the episode, and we're still in this battle. Ugh. And the reason I say that is because this puzzle usually takes me a bit. I don't have it memorized at all. And there's, like, battles in between it. Alright. Why? Why did I lose? I'm basically, gonna, I guess at this point I'm just gonna voice him like fucking Kaiba. I, I don't understand. Now at least close as I can get to Kaiba. Is this what Lance guy said true? 
that I don't treat my Pokemon properly? Love, trust, are they really what I lack? Are they keeping me from winning? I, I just don't understand. But it's not going to end here. Not now. Not because of this. I won't give up my dream of becoming the world's best Pokemon trainer. Shut up. What do you want, Huey? What's up, Huey, Pokemon, Raichu, every it, click. Good talk. Um, let's heal up because that did, he did actually end up doing a number to our team. Um, so far, uh, I'm talking, talking about, not talking about, thinking about team changes. Um, honestly, uh, Cleopatra is doing great. Sire is not getting all, as much use as I would like him to. Jet's holding his own for the most part. Uh, Matang basically is just, or Metalhead might be, it's just waiting to evolve at this point. Uh, Alakaz or Mind Freak. Um, he doesn't get used as much, but he's actually being really helpful most of the time. So I think for a team, I think we I forgot to mention one. Uh, Edgebird, you know, he's he's doing his best. You know, he actually did some work on that last Team Rocket like group that we did. Why did I forget that you know that? Let's use Psybeam. And we're good. Alright, nice. Mantike, uh, we still have no electric type moves. Hopefully we can get a TM and teach someone one. I just want a good, like, type coverage, because right now I think we're pretty lacking in that apartment. You're a baby mon, why did you tank that? Are you setting up with Mantike? Like, are you really trying to set up with a Mantike? Um, let's go to Sire. Um, so one thing I've been thinking about... I'm not even gonna lie, I haven't been thinking about it. It just popped in my head now, but... I'm thinking of topics of, like, not topics, like... What games... Like, what Pokemon game I should play next, if it will be randomized or whatnot. Actually, no, I guess I have been talking about it, because I asked you guys in an earlier episode what you think. Huh. Yawn? Oh my god, yes, finally. Uh, let's get rid of... Extra Snow. Let's get rid of Slam. Because I did ask in an earlier episode what y'all would like to see. Like, I think it was like X or Y or something. Alright, so... Oh wait, no, there's an item there. Don't know what that could be. Pogodol. Fun. Um, let's go to the Pokemon Center, because I see a potential double battle up ahead, and I don't want to run, run out of power moves before, or power points before that happens. It's weird to see, like, alright, so it's like, as you can see, like, in-game right now, it's kind of like, oh, is that Bill? Alright, so let's come back for, not uh, EV in a second, but, like, outside right now, it's, like, midday. It is not even, like, sunset, but, like... It, the sun is setting in this game, and it makes me a little uncomfortable. Mainly because I feel like not that much time is going on. I'm going to keep the team roster the same as it is right now, since we're just picking up this EV and just coming back. While we're heal, while we're heal, while we're here, we might as well heal, you know, just so we don't go through the PC and healing, you know. I just want to try to make this a little bit of quick. A little bit of quick. A little bit of Monica in my life. I wish I had more stuff to talk about. Oh, I feel... 
Now that I'm not talking about things other than streaming or whatever else is going on, I feel like it's more boring. Uh, I want to take this Eevee. Yeah, give me your Eevee. All right, we got a quote unquote Eevee. No, because whatever we got is going to be nicknamed Eevee. Yo, we got Relicanth. Yo, it's only level five, but oh, I love it. So, for those who don't know, Relicanth is, like, my favorite water Pokemon. Um, in no really, no real particular re reason. I almost had, like, a really bad lisp there. But, like, Relicanth? Definitely, like, when, like... Oh, I remember seeing it in, like, one of the first, like, things of the Hoenn series or whatever. And then, like... I found out in school or something that it was like a real fish, but like uh, what is it, a colicanth, and like those are like my all-time favorite fish too. It's like oh my god. Yo, I'm glad. I'm happy. If it was shiny, it'd be even better. But honestly, I can't complain. That's a good. Like if we got an oddish or like a sea odd or something, I'd be pro I'd probably be very upset. And now for this puzzle, what I'm thinking is. I never actually tried figuring out what the, like, how this puzzle worked at all. I just pressed buttons until the door opened. But what I'm thinking is, every door connected to the color of that button changes. So like, alright, hold up. Say we press red, all the doors connecting to the red are gonna close. Right? Okay. And then we press green, and all the doors connected to green are gonna open and close. Alright, yeah, so I'm right. Cool. Um, we can't go, actually, yeah, we can go down, but, actually, no, we can't, we need to... Alright, so, we're gonna end up battling people either way. Unless, we can... Yeah, alright, so we can grab... No, wait, no, we can't, cause... Yeah, I'm not good at puzzles, if you haven't guessed. But I was assuming this would turn into a double battle, so... Probably could have, now to think about it, if I just went the long way and fought the other dude. Dude, you don't look very cop-like to me. In fact, you look like the exact opposite. Like, I don't know, a criminal? Call me crazy, but I just don't see you as the do-gooder type of man. But who am I to judge? Um, Golbat. All right, let's switch up to Metalhead. You know, I honestly throw him out first now since... He's so close to, I think it's like level 38 or 40 he evolves? I'm not sure. Like, I could have sworn that I looked up something that said like 36. I don't know, that could be high, like, really wrong. Yeah, so let's put Metalhead out in front now. Um, you know, Jet, he's pretty close to everyone else. And Metalhead, even though I'm trying not to, like, pick favorites with, like, who I use the most. But, like, he's our starter, and, like, I, I don't know. Whenever it comes to Pokemon games, I definitely feel like I should be using the starter more than the rest. For no particular reason, either. I just, like, I guess maybe since, like, I chose him for this adventure and I want to use him for this adventure. But, like, honestly, other than that, there's nothing really... Nothing else, really, I can think about. I do think the next will be a normal playthrough because randomizers are really infuriating. I'm not gonna lie. Um, let's keep you out and then we'll switch to uh, Edgebird. And then let's use Aerial Ace because, you know, fucking. Why? Why do you hate me? Boom. Motham, gone. Edgebird, not level up yet, but... Ooh, really tough. I th think you can give good experience boosts? I'm not 100% sure about that, but I think it gives a good experience boost. 
So let's use Dragon's Breath. You're a normal type. I don't see you resisting this, so... You know what? Here's a, here's a very common topic among Pokemon fans, right? So in Gen 6, we got the Fairy type, and we got... No, I don't think it wears a lot of Pokemon added, other than, like, the Legendary... And what was it like some of the Gen 1 Pokemon like Clefairy and shit. But like why isn't there a sound type Pokemon yet? Like I know it's oh man, it could have been a double battle. I know it's like very common topic and a lot of people talk about it, but like honestly, why isn't there? You have so many Pokemon based around sound, Noivern, Loudrid, Chadot. Um, I'm trying to think about- I know there's others. Chimeco. Like... Why? Why don't we have a sound type yet? I mean, I guess, like... Thinking? Like... I guess there's not really a lot you could do with the typing-wise? Because now I'm thinking, like, what its weaknesses and strengths would be, and honestly, I don't know. That's kind of, a. Uh... I guess that might be why, because, like, even though if you implement it, you can't really think of a lot of things that would be weak or strong against. But then again, at the same time, who the fuck went and thought that Farius should be immune to all dragon types? Like, I feel like this could be... There could have been, like, more poke... Like, another type or something you could have done that with. I don't know. Um, I wouldn't say Psychic, because that would probably make Psychic way too unbalanced. 38. 38, is this it? Is this it? Nope. Sad day. Um, oh, we, oh, wait, did we? Nope, we didn't actually solve the puzzle. Um, and then... That? Oh, yeah, we did. Cool. I'm pressing down, and he's walking right. I don't know what the fuck's going on there. Are you lost? No, it can't be. You don't have the scared look. I'll be giving you something to be scared about. No, you won't. You're gonna lose so hard. You're gonna catch these hands. Bronzor. What is it? Psychic. Steel? Easy peasy. Let's go. Pursuit. I think this is the most I've actually used Pursuit, like, ever. Oh, wait, I know. Are you just Steel now? Do I even know you're typing? Right, either way. Wow. Wow. Are you really gonna do that? Um, let's just go for Sire, I think. Mudball might do it. Why? Why why are you like this? Why Come on man If you use hypnosis again, I'm gonna cry. Why? Yo, sire, we're gonna please, you gotta you gotta put this thing down. Fuck. It knows it has levitate as the ability. I forgot! I'm a failure! <laughs> Come on, Sire, surf. Let's go. Sceptile, let's see. What is that, grass? Let's go for Edgebird. You know, we actually do have a good typing now that I think about it. Oh wait, could have is fighting super effective hand steel? I don't think so. I'm only saying I don't think so, because I don't think punching a plate of steel would actually do much. Because I was thinking, man, maybe we could just throw in Edgebird and use close combat for bronze or what is it, Bronzor? Oh whatever, Swimmer Lawrence is gone. And which means we have finally made oh wait, I think uh, I kinda wanna press that button first, because I don't know if I don't know if the, not the puzzle. I don't know if it's gonna teleport us out directly, like after we do this. Ooh, there's items. 
Awakening. Yeah, could be helpful. We're running out. We're running low on full heals. Uh, but Tang seems to feel great walking with you. Aww. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's so many Team Rocket people. Just when I thought we were done last time, there's just more. I mean, yeah, more trainers, more levels, I guess. I mean, once Metalhead hits what I'm assuming to be level 40 for his evolution, hopefully, I'm praying, <laughs> uh, then we could just stop with, uh, with him for at least a bit. You know, he's getting a lot of experience, and, you know, it doesn't feel fair to the other Pokemon on the team. And don't use self-destruct, please. Sure. Stop. As a kid, I didn't know roll out just kept going until you fainted or ran out, I think. I don't Actually not even till not even now, I don't even fully know how roll out works. I think it just you use it once and you just use it until you faint. Which as a kid, I thought that Whitney was just being a fucking cheap ass. Um, you know, let's avoid battles if we can. Which it looks like we're not going to be able to avoid this one, so we'll just take the bullet. You know, one... Like, on one hand, I do want to sit and fight them all, but on the other, I... This episode's already going on half an hour, and I really don't want to have a repeat of last time, so this is probably gonna be like a week of just like Pokemon episodes. Of just me fighting Team Rocket, I guess. I don't want it to be. But, oh shit, fucking, I just remembered last time I promised at the end of the week you guys would get a Safari Zone video and us getting the encounter of that. But I completely forgot and instead just continued with the story. So, <sighs> fuck. I was gonna be like, for ne like the next episode, the next episode is gonna be next Monday, and I'm not recording that batch just yet. Don't worry, at some point you guys will get the Safari Zone video. I promise. Because that's like, what, two new encounters off the bat right there, and then one for the actual safari zone nightshade oh man oh, i could use that let's see who could learn it wow almost everyone uh actually no not almost everyone either jet or edgebird i'm gonna go with jet because he doesn't have a lot of moves right now you know, protect is pretty great. Yeah, don't, we don't need heal block. Honestly, I'm not... Listen. If the gym leader wants the heal, that's fine. You know, I've, so far, I, th I don't think I've been in a situation where that would have hurt, like, hurt me deeply. Uh, who? What? You can't do rescue me? Thank you. The radio tower? What's happening there? Taken by Team Rocket. Here, take this card key. Use that to open the shutters on the third floor. I'm begging you to help. There's no telling what they'll do if they control the transmitter. They might even be able to control Pokemon using a special signal. You're the only one I can count on. I can call on. Isn't it count on? Please save the radio tower. And make all the po save all the Pokemon nationwide. Nationwide is on your side. Uh, let's go up the stairs because I think this is a shortcut out. And free item! Moomoo Milk! Alright. Let's go. Um, I think it's different days these Pokemon move these boxes or, or, or do we talk to them or oh there we go because there's a bunch of hidden items down here that we can't get on our own sadly I think we need to wait for him to be next to them maybe Yeah, I guess we just need to wait for someone to be next to him, talk to him. Oh well. I always thought it was like... More I always thought it was if certain times of the day they would be different, but whatever. Hey dude, ask your Monchok to move? Mach- Machop. Mach Mach 
Uh, fresh water. God damn it. I was really hoping for another Master Ball, but I guess that's wishful hoping. Excuse me, ma'am. Will you take me to the first floor? You know what? Yeah, we're, we're gonna keep going. You know, it's... I don't want the episode to be too long, but you know what? I, I don't want you to just wait a week just for us to finish Team Rocket and do whatever. Next week we're starting on, I, I swear on my soul, next week we're starting on the Safari Zone. And do you remember, I'm gonna even like, stop the session and Cinewood? Maha- no. Still don't remember the name of the fucking town. Yeah, how are we doing on Pokemon right now? I don't know if we're... Yeah, we're not hurting. We're good. We got this admin in the bag. Let's go. Alright, so... Uh, Alright, so... If we're not going to sit through, like, four or five battles before we hit the next admin, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep this as it is. But if it fast forwards, let's just say the battles took longer than I expected. So, yeah. Let's go. Let's see, what do you got, Mr. Pansy? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sir. I didn't mean to make fun of you. I was waiting for your name to pop up, and your parents must have hated you. I see why you joined Team Rocket. Come on. How come you get a- how come your mom lets you have a Metagross? At level 26! I feel cheated. I think this is the second time... Our Pokemon has gone up. Well, I think Metalhead has gone up against his evolved self. Only confusion? Please, I have Psychic. <laughs> It's gonna take forever, but the experience should be so good. You know, this reminds me of a stupid of a person I was in elementary school. In elementary school, I. I don't remember where I got it, but I had like a Metagross toy. Oh wow, nice battle. Now wait just one second. Aren't you the one who's- Oh, we, oh shit, we, we talked to him before? Fuck, I don't think I was voicing people then. Anyway, aren't you the one who got in our way at Slowpunk? Well, I see. You're doing all this because they want to make me angry. Very careful. But since you seem to wish it, I'll show you the full extent of Team Rocket's executive wrath. But yeah, I had a Metagross toy in elementary school, and I remember there was this girl. I wouldn't say I liked. Well, maybe. I don't know. I could have been crushing her at her, on her at the time. That goes against being a gay. I don't know. I think I just wanted to be her friend or something, like, really bad. And she was like, ah, oh, Metagross, that's like my favorite Pokemon. I was like, oh, me too. You want the toy? And just gave it to her. I'm like, now I'm just like, why am I such a fucking idiot? I should have kept that shit. That was a dope ass toy. You would put a disc in its mouth and it would spit out, like, it would spit it out. I think it was supposed to be like a hyper beam or something. You think I'm at the disadvantage? You're at the disadvantage! Take my fists. I mean, talons. Shit, he was level 33. I should have fought. I, I should have used Metalhead. God damn it. Oh well. Phew. Yo, yo, dude. No, dude. Oh, wait, yes. Down. Choice band. Why are we getting all these fucking items? Like, come on. And I think it's. Oh! Ho -ho. Hey, you! Remember me from the hideout in Mahogany Town? This time, he he he. This time, it looks like you're really all alone. All alone. 
So it's be quite easy. Bring it on. Let's finish this. Thomas. <laughs> All right, Thomas. Let's go. Bring it on. Bring it on. You got nothing against me. You got nothing. Metal Claw. Fuck. Did I forget? Steel resist steel. Wow, I'm dumb. I'm a dummy dumb dumb. I'm the dummiest dumb dumb of all dumb dumb people. Um, alright, so what? Bug steel, and we don't really have anything for that? But I'm thinking. Mudball. No, it could be wrong, but mud ball. Uh, oh, sorry, mud bomb. Eh, it's a ball. It's mud. I don't. Come on, scissor, stop. Okay, that was not a good idea. Um, let's use that good old moo moo milk. A stop. Uh, let's see. Surf. <sighs> You're really, really annoying me. Come on, sire, like one health. That's all we fuck. Cleopatra, let's go. You know, we haven't used you in a hot minute. Icy wind. Why? Fuck, bug is super effective against dark. What was I thinking? What was I thinking? This is my failure! Gee, oh, fuck, he knows dark type moves now, doesn't he? Uh. Dragon Breath? the bug type. Hi, welcome to Chance Makes a Bunch of Horrible Decisions Consecutively. This is why I'm not good at Pokemon. Fuck, and I think there's another admin battle after this. Oh, I'm so fucked. <laughs> and let's go. Avenge your friends, Metalhead. Avenge them! Oh, come on. Seriously, dude? Dude! 39. Better get me to level 39. Tullybird? Alright, we'll keep you out for the experience, but we need you to take a break. Mind Freak, can you please do something about the situation? Um, Psybeam. That's really all we can do. I'm sitting here like it was a horrible, de uh, not horrible, a hard decision to make, but nah. It's... Aron? Really? Really? Not Agron? Not like. A Ly Lyron? Just. Aron. Whatever. Whatever. Edgebird, get in there. Use close combat. Fucking destroy this loser. This can't be happening. It happened. Donna? Fucking bitch, who are you? Good afternoon, what's up, Donna Umbreon? Yes, it. Later. Bye. Yeah, whatever. Cool. Cool story, mate. Uh, let's heal up real quick before we hop in there, because we don't know what's going to be happening. And for once, I don't mean that ironically. I don't. I honestly don't know what the fuck's going to happen once you walk through that door. I at least want to have everyone alive. Oh, I should have used... I could have used the Sacred Ash. And, you know, I was really tempted to for a second. Oh, 
man, this episode's so long, and this is without even speed ups. I'm so sorry. Hopefully, though, we can end this episode on our one true love, our one two best Pokemon pal evolving. Uh, Mind Freak and Edge Bridge seem alright, so I'm not too concerned. Uh, if a dark Pokemon or whatever pops up, I'll just avoid sending them out. Observation. Oh, I forgot the elevator, like, talked for a second. Or, like, the speaker, or whatever. Oh, you managed to get this far? You must be quite the trainer. We intend to take over this radio tower and officially announce our comeback. That should bring our boss Giovanni back from his solitary training. We are to regain our former glory. It will not allow you to interfere with our meticulous plans. And I don't... I think that's the first time we meet Chloe. <laughs> uh, Kadat? Alright, yeah. So, oh, you might. You might be just what we need. Oh, I, sh I should have gone to the Pokemon Center now that I'm looking at this. Uh, oh, I don't think, I think we have a, an Ether. But yeah, we're gonna fight until Battlehead hits level 40, and hopefully, nah, we're gonna be lucky if, like, yeah, no one's gonna, no one else is gonna get a turn to battle, and I kind of hate that. But I just really want to get to level 40 with this dude first. Actually, you know what, because of how long this might take, I might have to... Oh, wait, no. Don't confuse. Okay. I don't have any grass-type moves, I don't have any electric-type moves, so I think I'm screwedly, screwedly screwed as it comes to super effective move for this dude. And I don't know why I said that. Scriddly, scriddly, screwed. Eh, whatever. I said it already, it's too late to go back and change it. Drapion, that is... the... Cloud Dark? So, Metal Claw? Um, what about headbutt? No, you might have poison touch. Oh, I can't. You can't poison me because I'm a steel type. Forgot about that. What are you gonna? I can't stop. I'm gonna headbutt you to death. He doesn't know what to do other than place poison spikes on the ground. I should honestly heal because if he hits me with like. Yeah, I should, I'm gonna heal after this. If he lives... You know, I just want to be safe. I don't want to... get this far and then just completely fuck it up. And hopefully Drapion's gonna give us a good chunk of experience. And I won't be... Uh, I was gonna be like, I wouldn't be surprised if he uses the heal item now, too. I HATE YOU! <laughs> I sh oh, I need- if I only fought that one dude in the basement. If I only fought him. How could this be? Our dreams have come. Did not. I was not up to the task after all. Like Giovanni has done before me. I will disband Team Rocket here today. Farewell. Oh! You've already defeated them, thank you! Your courageous actions have saved Pokemon nationwide! Here, take this! Silver Wing! We can get- Oh shit, we can get Lugia. Quote unquote Lugia. There used to be a tower right here. When this tower was replaced with the right of the tower, that Silver Wing was found at the top of the tower. I heard from a friend at Cinnawood that if you take this- That you can go down to a cave at Whirl Islands, where there's a Silver Wing. I'll have you go- Ah, uh, yeah. 
He wants us to go to World Island so we can encounter Lugia. Oh, I almost forgot. According to my friend from Cinnawood City, the legendary Pokemon will not appear if you just go down to the cave of World Island with only that silver wing. Apparently there's something else you need, or something like that. Oh yeah, we need the silver bell? Dude. Are you expecting something? This is what they call fake out. I really must be going back to my office. See ya! Alright, so now, I uh, think... I think we can go to... Ecritique City and face all the kimono girls that we met so far. And then after that, they'll be like, we're going to World Isles, blah blah blah, wanna, wanna meet us there? And then we'll be like, yeah! But, that's not gonna be happening soon. Uh, even though we are 50 minute. holy shit, this was a long episode, and I'm so sorry. Yeah, even though we could go and just go straight towards the 8th gym, and we could go and just- well, let's do the lottery. We could just go, like, straight to Lugia. I promised an episode all about the Safari Zone, and that's what we're gonna do. I just had a major panic attack from that. Like, I thought the game was gonna crash, and that 40 minutes would have gone to waste. Okay, so we're leaving off on this music. I hope you all, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to this channel if you want to see more videos like this in the future. And follow me on Twitter if you just want to keep up with me and know when I'm going live on you Twitch. And follow me on Twitch also to know when I'm going live. And if you just want to join me for streams, uh, we usually just sit, just faff about for a bit, laugh, have fun. They're generally a good time, so I hope you all had a wonderful day, and until next time, bye bye